Hello my friends and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and this is Minimum Player Account. This is my cat, Aria, who's helping me with this video. Today I'm very excited to preview for you Gunshi, the artist strategy. And without further ado, let's get started. So how you play Gunshi, the artist strategy, is you set up the board like so. Each player gets seven cards that will be their moves, and the first player will always be red, and the second player will always be blue, and you decide this on your own. So starting as the first player, everyone starts out with 18 strategic energy, and to start the game, you start placing your pieces out onto your red section, or in this case, blue section if you're the second player. And as you place your units, you will subtract your strategic energy, which is also shown on your reference card by how much it costs. And that is how you would start a game of Gunshi. Once you have used all of your strategic energy, then the round starts as in placing your cards and activating cards to play the game. So to start, I wanna go over the reference card with you. So the cost of each unit is shown on the right hand side of the card. So you can see fences are one and then the lightning order would be six, which I'll explain to you later. When you first start the game in round one, you are not able to activate any cards because you haven't placed any cards. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna place the cards. And as you're placing cards onto your board here, you have one that is face up, one that is face down, and then it keeps going in that order. So as you play, you're able to see half of your opponents and your own movements on um, what they plan to do. So the next is the lightning order, and the lightning order requests six strategic energy and you have to have that six strategic energy so that you can use and how that is done is you will move one of your cards that you have placed onto a section where another card is so that you have not just one but two movements on the next round or when this card reaches the first space after you have done that you go to the draw card so you get three cards in your hand and then you move into the gaining points for the cards that you have. So in this case, because I have three cards that are inactive that I didn't activate in the, the my current round, I would get plus three strategic energy. Once I have finished my portion of my round, it will then move on to the next person and then back and forth. And you keep going until one of two win conditions has been met either one person's Shogun has been captured and the Shogun is decided individually after all of your pieces have been placed and your strategic energy is down to zero or by getting three of your opponent's units into the invasion. So if I had two units here and a unit here, that would mean I won or vice versa, two units here and a unit here my opponent would have won. Those are the two ways that you can win in Gunshi. So when placing your infantry, you place another piece, which is considered your armor, underneath your piece as you're placing it, again, within your own section. So this infantry piece would cost me two strategic energy. As I continue placing pieces, this would cost me four strategic energy, which is the cavalry, and the archer would cost me three strategic energy. Fences cost one. When placing your pieces, you have to make account for the actions that each of these are able to do. Infantry are able to move one space, and you do have to be considerate of the arrows in most of these cases, but with the infantry, you're able to move them one adjacent space. It doesn't have to follow the designated arrow, but you do have to move the arrow to what you had just recently moved. So for that movement, it is now facing to the right. 
if I had continued going forward, it would stay forward to the left, the arrow would be pointing to the left. With the cavalry, depending on the card that you have placed, you're able to move your cavalry up until a point where it hits either an enemy unit or a fence. That would be in this case, or you can say just a fence or just a unit, but as soon as you overtake a unit, that piece would go back to the opponent and you would take that space. but the archer has the advantage of being able to shoot diagonally and in front of them, not behind them. So each of these has their own kind of movements and their battle strategy, so you have to be considerate of all these units while placing them and decide on kind of how you would like to plan out your game. I'm gonna go over quickly how these cards work. There are only four different kinds of cards in this game. So the first one we'll be talking about is reinforcements. Reinforcements allows you to place either a infantry, archer, or a cavalry, and it tells you how much they would cost in the right hand side. Rotation or shooting. So you have an option of either rotating one of your units 180 degrees or have an archer shoot and the card will show you on the points of where you can actually shoot. Placing a fence, which anywhere that the fence is shown around on the card is where you can place it, or a maneuver attack. And again, this is shown by the darker spaces are where you're able to move your units, in this case, for each one of the different types of units. But that is how you play in an overview of Gunshi, and now let's just move on to final thoughts. All right, so my thoughts on Gunshi, the artist strategy. This is a two-player game, which as you know, most of the games that I play are at the two-player minimum player count. Though it is at my niche of games that I do enjoy, this deeply strategic game isn't really my kind of game. It is a very deeply thought out game where every move you make has to be very strategic and planned and you also have to be paying attention closely to what your opponent's doing and their actions. As you may have seen in my other videos, that's not something that I typically do a lot in my gameplay or enjoy in my gameplay because I usually focus on specifically what I'm doing and this is more of like a, a PvP player versus player type of thing where you have to make sure that you're paying attention to your own moves, what the what's going on with the board and what your opponent is doing. So if you're better at those kinds of games, if you like chess or shoji, this might be a game for you because it does combine those two games into this one and it's very nice that you know half of the cards that you have out on the board are visible to yourself and the other players so you can see kind of what they're planning to do and guess what's going to happen so that makes it easier for somebody like me who is not very well versed in games like chess or very deeply strategic games but it was enjoyable in the fact that there are multiple different units in this game that have different moves and different abilities that make it pretty fun. I liked that aspect. I think if, if I were to take more time to play this and learn it a little bit more and really like deep dive into this, I could probably enjoy this game a little bit more. But as somebody who's more like a learn the rules, play the game, kind of get a general feel of the game and then maybe play it again. This is more of a game where, like chess, you have to play multiple times and you have to enjoy doing this and you have to enjoy strategy games and also really take into account how each piece moves, how, what cards you have, and really develop that strategy, which can be you know, very fun for some people. For me, I'm more of a, like I said, I want to pull a game out and kind of figure out my strategy as I go as I'm going through the game. This one you kind of have to 
you know, really think about each move that you're doing as you're doing it and before you're doing it. And your strategy will be affected by, based off of what your opponent is doing as well. So you can't just focus on, you know, what your main goal is and what you're trying to do because you still have to account for the other player. And if this had more players in that, in, like as in three or four players, if they expanded it, I don't know if I would like it at all because I, have a hard time, like I said, in this type of aspect of game and a player versus player type of thing makes it seem, it's a little bit easier for, you know, to focus on just one person versus like a multitude of people, I think personally. So if you kind of are like me in that type of aspect, this might be a good game for you to try to practice more on your strategy, to try to get a little bit more of an edge into your gameplay type of thing. Um, or, you know, if you decide, hey, I'm not that type of person at all, this may not be the game for you um, because of how strategic it is and how you have to be very intuitive and planning your moves accordingly to not only what you're trying to do, but your opponent. But I really hope you enjoy this preview of this game and I will see you guys next time. Just so you know, I will link the Kickstarter link in the description below for you guys to see. Thanks, have a great day. Beast. <laughs> Failed. Super effective. That was good. That was really good.